This video comes from Alfonso Dunn, the title, No Shortcuts, an important drawing skill too many students try to avoid. So let's see what this skill is that he's talking about. Now, although we can get proportions spot on in much less time and with much less effort, uh, using drawing aids like grids uh, or tracing uh, or projectors, uh, including other shortcuts and tricks you can find in digital art. I, I, I think I already like this. I already like this. I like where he's going. Not using grids, not using uh, sort of images or, or photos and, and digital art, things like that, because it's going to actually hinder you more than it helps you. That's, that's my perspective on it. I think if you're going to draw or paint, it's worth it to actually have a live model. Let's see what he says. All shortcuts come with a price. And relying too much on these shortcuts, which I see a lot of uh, students and beginners do, and not challenging ourselves enough to trust the process of working out proportions by eye, can cause us to miss out on learning critical skills that are so important to drawing. Yes, yes, thank you. It all comes with a price, and you're going to develop crutches. You're going to be dependent on those shortcuts if you don't properly develop yourself and gain the skills necessary to actually make the work that you want to. When you draw and practice working out proportions using uh, eye measurements without relying on grids, tracing, and so on, you're training your mind and eyes to be able to identify and internalize important relationships about your subject. And ultimately, this just helps to sharpen your observation skills. Yeah, absolutely. And it's a very different observation skill required to view a live model versus just looking at a photo. It, it really, really changes your mind and changes the sort of muscle of, of your eye and your hand-eye coordination to study from life, to work from life. You're going to gain massive skills if you do it, so I highly recommend it. And it's a little bit like working out. You have to actually build that muscle up. It takes time. It takes struggle. It's going to suck at first. It's going to hurt. You're not going to want to do it. But over time, if you, if you just keep going, you're going to get really strong. You're going to be blown away by the types of observations you can make with your eyes. Another really cool benefit of practicing to work out proportions uh, with eye measurements is that you'll find that you eventually uh, will memorize general proportions in the process. You know, you develop a feel for the overall proportions of the subject. That's a really good point. Over time, you're going to be able to actually identify and see these relationships. And you're going to be able to actually work through problems without even needing to use just your model or, or your sort of sight size reference. You're going to understand the general proportions and how to actually properly structure all of your anatomy and your foundations like that. Uh, when you rely too much on tracing or grids and so on, you find yourself even being a bit dependent on them, you know, or your mind becoming more passive. And then it's like... Make sure you subscribe and hit the like button. You're connecting dots because everything is already laid out for you. And another critical aspect of overusing or becoming dependent on these tools Mm -hmm. is that it feeds into the mindset that everything must be perfect. This is a great point. There's a major problem with using those photo references and trying to copy it identically, and that is that you're not even thinking about what you want to achieve. To a certain degree, you are the arbiter. You're the one who's deciding how this gets translated into your work. If you have a model there and you're completely reliant on a photo, which is flat, it's not moving, you're only gonna be able to really put what you see there. You're not gonna have as much flexibility compared to if you're able to work from life. You're gonna have a more flexible approach. You're gonna be able to proportion things or have your model move in a certain way that's going to help accentuate their better features and hide their flaws. You're gonna be able to actually make them better looking than they are in reality. So that's a skill that I don't think many photo reel type painters have because they're just focused on taking that photo and using the photo in order to make whatever it is that they're making. So, that, you know, actually being able to change things and manipulate things how you want and how you can make it better is a really important skill. A professional artist will tell you that 
going through the process of working out proportions by eye comes with getting things a bit off sometimes and that's okay you know it's just a natural part of the uh, the bittersweet lessons of learning and the process is priceless because you develop a deeper understanding of how you systematically construct a drawing yeah so this this brings up another really good point which is that you're actually focused on the wrong details if you're trying to draw from a photo and copy it exactly if you're focused on these sort of general structures you understand how to go from start to finish and you're not going to be overly detail oriented you're going to understand the broader forms that are at play and how to really get the essence of your subject rather than needing to make it you know exactly like the photo or, or copy it exactly you're going to understand how to get the essence and how to get that likeness without having to get all these particular details i should also add that doing it in that way actually allowing some flexibility and, and having this understanding of the structure makes for a much more compelling work in the end. Whether it's a painting or a drawing, your viewers are gonna be much more compelled because it feels more solid. It feels more real in a way. It has that flexibility, it has that atmosphere that you don't get if you're very detail-oriented. Now, don't get me wrong. Uh, using shortcuts for getting proportions right are useful at times, okay? like they really help immensely to save time and effort, especially, you know, if you have like uh, commissions, deadlines, projects, and so on. Plus, you may have already have the skills anyway. This is for, particularly for beginners and students who may tend to rely too much on this and not realize that it's important to go through the process. See, I, th I think he's being too nice here. I disagree. If you think something is worthwhile, if you think something is valuable, why would you contradict it? If you think it's valuable to practice those skills to actually work from life, anytime you're doing the opposite, anytime you're working from photo, you're actively fighting against what is best for you. If you think it's best for you to work from life and then you go and work from photo because it's convenient or because you have a commission or something like that, you're actively developing bad habits, you're actively destroying what you've worked so hard to build up. So it may sound a little bit extreme, but that's how it is. I mean, that's with any kind of habit in life. You gotta stick to it and you gotta be rigid about it because if you're not, then you know things can, can crumble and fall apart very quickly. And commissions are a place where probably a lot of people will go astray, where people will you know, start to make changes or they won't care so much about these values. But think about this. At the end of the day, whatever is gonna lead to the best result is, is what you should use. If the timeline doesn't make sense and you can't do it within a certain time frame, adding the photo still isn't going to produce the best results. You're just going to be rushed and it's going to be a rushed project anyways. So it's probably not a very good idea to take on a project that you're not comfortable with or, or that you're not able to actually complete. Commissions are the place where you should be even more dedicated. To not let shortcuts uh, replace learning the process of working out your proportions by eye because they're important to acquiring certain understandings and skills that is hard to learn otherwise. There you have it. I think there's some great advice there. I totally agree I, for the most part, aside from that, that last little bit. But in, in total, a lot of good advice here. You made a lot of good points. It's from Alfonso Dunn. Make sure you go like his video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.